Welcome to Pro Tips for VoiceThread. Let's look at some sharing and delivery tips for VoiceThread. VoiceThread gives you the option to share your presentation with people so they can join you in editing or to help you review your slides. For example, let's say you want to add a classmate so they can help you with your presentation. First off, make sure that your classmate has logged into their VoiceThread account through Moodle at least once. They don't have to create any VoiceThreads, they just need to click the VoiceThread My Voice link from the Moodle My homepage at least once to make sure they've initialized their VoiceThread account. Then, to share your VoiceThread with a classmate, select your VoiceThread from the list of Owned by Me VoiceThreads, and then click Share. Click into the Contacts tab. Then, use the plus icon to add your classmate to your contacts list. Type in their UMN email address and name, and click Save. If they've already initialized their VoiceThread account, you'll see your classmate's name and user icon get added to your contacts list. Also make sure to click on and highlight their name in your contacts list to make sure they get added to the list of people who can access your VoiceThread presentation. When you've successfully shared your presentation with one of your contacts, their name will show up in this list here. You can add multiple contacts to your contacts list here, and then click on their names and add them to the list here for sharing. You can then control what kinds of editing permissions you want to give these co-editors listed in your presentation sharing list. Note that everyone in this list will get the same editing permissions, so make sure you choose the settings that will work best for your entire group. Generally, You'll want to select all three options, View, Comment, and Edit. This will make it so your classmates are able to access your presentation, add comments to your presentation, and edit and create new slides in your presentation. Otherwise, choose View Only if you want to give your classmates a sneak preview of your presentation, but don't want them to be able to change anything on the presentation or add or delete any slides. Once you're finally done creating your VoiceThread, you're ready to share it with an audience. VoiceThread generally works best if you pre-record all of your content and then let your audience view it online on their own time. Depending on how you set it up, you can also allow your audience to add multimedia comments, including text, audio, or video comments. To share your presentation with your audience so they can view it and interact with it online, you'll need to grab the sharing link that points to your VoiceThread. To get this link, select the VoiceThread like we've already done, and then click Share and click this button to get a link. Here you have a few options. If you want your audience to be able to watch your presentation online, but not interact with it by adding multimedia comments, then select View Only. Then you can copy this link email it, post it on a handout, website, or social media site for your audience to access. This is a public viewing link, so anyone inside or outside of the university will be able to click on it and view your presentation. If you want your audience to be able to both watch your presentation online and interact and leave multimedia comments, including text, audio, or video comments, then select both view and comment. Then again, you can copy the link, email it, post it on a handout, website, or social media site for your audience to access. Anyone inside or outside of the university will be able to use this link to view your presentation, and anyone with a VoiceThread account will be able to log into VoiceThread and add their own comments to your presentation. These have been some pro tips for VoiceThread. Thanks for listening.